Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can use the Authenticator app for Microsoft Teams. So if you guys want to learn how to do it, just follow the steps that I'm going to show you. As you can see guys, I'm right now in Microsoft Teams and this is how the homepage looks like. So right here in the left side of your screen, you're going to find all of the sections. There is the activity section, community, chat and lastly the calendar where you're going to find all of your scheduled meetings so right now in order to access your account setting go ahead and click on your profile icon you're going to find it in the top right corner once you click on it right here as you can see guys you're going to find some details about your account your name your email address and right here under it you're going to find my microsoft account so go ahead and click on it and this will take you to this page so once you're here in this page, right here in the left side of your screen, you're going to find all of the settings related to your account. So right now go to security. And then once you click on security, just wait for this page to load. And then once you're here, here in the top, you're going to find two options, change password and two step verification. So if you want to use Authenticator app with Microsoft Teams, Go ahead and click on to step verification to turn it on then just wait for the page to load and then once you're here scroll a little bit down right here you're gonna find two step verification click on turn on and then all you need to do guys is follow following these steps to link your authenticator app firstly make sure you have up-to-date security info when where you can receive security code Set up an Authenticator app if you have a smartphone. Print or write down your recovery code. Create app passwords for apps and devices that don't support to save verification code. So this is it guys for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.